Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to compare MailChimp with Squarespace. The first thing I'm going to compare are the main features and what do I actually think about both of these email marketing softwares. Then I will look on pricing plans and advantages and disadvantages that I personally see. So let's start. I'm not paid by Squarespace or MailChimp to say one is better comparing to the other, use that or that one. I'm just going to give you my honest review, the truth. So let's start. The Squarespace, in my opinion, is much easier to use comparing to MailChimp. MailChimp is uh, many times updated during the year and like the interface is changing all the time. But Squarespace, I would define it as a simplicity. MailChimp is more complex and hard to learn and hard to, to uh, like manage. And I will show you why. So when you're going to be in Squarespace, right, you're going to see like email campaigns here in the settings. Then you have like drafts here, scheduled, sent, automations, mailing list, like with your subscribers. And when you wanna create email, you can go with a send an email to your mailing list or automation, right? Let's go with a blast. Now you can choose really pretty templates. There are many of them. And these templates are much better comparing to the MailChimp if you would compare it from the graphic and pretty standpoint. And let's just choose, I don't know, this one here, right? Use this layout. And now what you want to do is just, you can add a style. You can click plus here. You can add a text, image, button, space, or line. Or you can simply add a mail, like what you want to do uh, with the previous text, to, from, subject. And you can also schedule it and send it like in different times. And also like MailChimp is similar from the how it works with the image, with the divider, etc. It's simple, also drag and drop system. But to get here, to learn it, it will take a little bit of time. To go even further, Squarespace pricing plans are better comparing to MailChimp. Look, you're going to have unlimited contacts. It's all about how many emails you're going to actually send. So let's say that you would like to send 50,000 mails uh, with 10,000 subscribers. So that's five mails a month, right? Unlimited subscribers, email automation, 50,000 subscribers. That's, I mean, 10,000 subscribers, 50,000 mails, 30 euro a month. That means mm, that's going to be $40 a month. But 10,000 subscribers is going to cost you $100, $105 in MailChimp. Let me move my camera a little bit. And in essential version, it would cost you 79. So Squarespace is completely dominating MailChimp. It's much simpler, much easier to use. Templates are better. And automation is also simpler comparing to MailChimp because using automation on MailChimp is just pain in the eyes. And not that amazing. But again, I'm not paid by Squarespace or MailChimp to say these things. I'm just going with the truth. So or just perspective of the truth. Now to go back, you just like see the scheduled here, the drafts, or you can click create. You can go with the automation uh, trigger based on customer activity or subscriber activity. Use second, send a couple to subscriber and look at this. So you can hear your 10% of your next order and automation after subscription. So someone subscribes, you send them an and off. So this is something that you can do and it can work flawlessly for you. And this is how you can pretty much do it. So thank you very much everybody for watching. If you have any questions guys, ask me down in the comments and let me down below in the comments which you're going to choose. Have a great day and goodbye.